Well, hello, everybody. This is Tom Boone, Associate Director for Mission with the Outreach Foundation. We are on day three, right? Three. <laughs> so three. much has happened. <laughs> so I much just happened. three days. Well, I think we're on day three. Uh, it's a Sunday, for sure. It was a day of worship, and I'm delighted to be with who am I sitting with? My name is Barry Long, and it's uh, wonderful to be a part of this Outreach Foundation team. And you're a trustee. I am a trustee. Yes, uh, yeah, let's not forget to say yeah. it. But you and Elizabeth come from where? We're from Central Florida, yeah. and um, this is our my third trip to Pakistan, and uh, it's wonderful to be in a different part. We've never been to yes, Sin Province. Right. Usually right. we've been in Punjab, and uh, we have visited partners uh, that have been with us for a long time, but we're here uh, learning about a new partner, yeah. which is very impressive. PAC Mission Society. Yes, and they've been terrific hosts, Barry. Yes, uh, yes. So just a quick wrap-up for today. We started the day with worship. Uh, Barry and I were split into two different places. Um, I preached at St. John's. I don't know if you do you remember the church you preached at? No. It was uh, a rural congregation. A rural congregation. Tribal congregation. Yes, so that was yes. a new thing. People speaking three different languages yeah. in there. Uh, Prayers were, were uh, spoken in two languages. That's amazing. Yes. Mine was more of a settled congregation. Right. Uh, and, and so that went very well. It was very lively, as it always is. Uh, came back, and then we went right out immediately to uh, uh, which the region is called? Kipro. Kip, Kipro. Kipro. Kipro region. Yep. And we saw four different projects. And, and Barry, you were real excited about this. Why don't you tell us why? I love the rural uh, ministry and this whole aspect of helping people who are uh, in such great need for help. It, it's amazing the work that PAC Mission so Society is, is doing. Uh, we saw places where they are going in and just completely transforming a village. Um, Tom, they're different from the other uh, folks who help out here because they come in and stay for the long period. It's amazing. Some of their initial contacts might be with disaster relief. Uh, there was much of that after the, the floods and they were helping. But they also come in and learn the needs of the people in a village mm -hmm. and then help the village organize themselves. And uh, we saw wonderful examples of water projects. Uh, in this society, the women uh, have to carry water, yeah. and, and they do that before they go to work for the day, mm -hmm. or, or the, the girls before they go to school. And one of the brilliant ideas that they have come up with is that they, trans they, they pipe water in from a distant spot. Typically, the villagers would need to walk uh, several kilometers to a canal and get dirty water and bring it back. And so what they've done is they uh, pipe the water in into a basin where there's some settlement that goes out. And then when it's, the basin is high enough, they're able to pump and take that uh, in individual containers to their homes where their filtration system. Yeah. Uh, and it's just transforming things. But not only that, they work with the people in the village. And uh, the first place that we stopped today, they had uh, helped them see that if they were able to save a little bit of money, they could end up buying their land. And this, this group of villagers loved this spot. They had deep roots here. And by able, being able to purchase their own property, they're not going to have to migrate and move around. And it's almost an unheard of thing mm -hmm. in this part of yeah, the world. Yeah. That uh, was pretty significant. An, another thing that uh, came out of the... Uh, PMS working with the uh, organizers in the village, they helped the ladies figure out that they could pool their own personal resources and help some of the ladies who were the most economically disadvantaged. And they keep records of what they contributed mm -hmm. and, and what they do. And it's just amazing. And they are so proud of what they've been able yeah. to do. And uh, the beauty of what PMS does is that they, they don't do this for them. They help them understand how they can unlock their own uh, potential. And yeah. it, it's uh, quite amazing. Yeah, you were very energized by all of that. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's, they use the word themselves, holistic. 
Yes. Uh, which I know is a favorite word for it you, uh, and you were able to see how holistic it is. One question that there's a lot to say, and we will block, we'll 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 unpack all these in stories uh, yeah. over the coming months with you all. Uh, but one final question, Barry, is how do you see God at work in all this? Because this isn't just good humanitarian work that's going on. God is part of this. The Lord is involved in this. And how do you see that, do you think? It, it's amazing. You can see the Lord at work in so many different ways. I see uh, villages that uh, learn how God loves them by sending people to help them. And in the work that is accomplished, it is definitely God's will. Yeah. And for instance, we, we saw a place where uh, there was a community that migrates. And so they, it, you can't uh, help them build permanent structures, but what they were able to see is they could purchase goats and then use the goats for economic development. They can use the milk, goats multiply, they can sell goats. And when something like this happens, the villagers say, why are these people helping me? Right. And that is an open invitation to say, well, we are helping you because God loves us and God loves you and we want to share that yeah. love. And uh, it's just amazing to see that kind of transformation. It is. And as one of our hosts said today, uh, as we were talking about this, he says it's not the majority population that does this. It's the Christian population and yeah. they know it. And this is a lot of Hindus here. Right. Uh, that's, that's the majority of the minorities here are Hindus and they are receiving God's mercy from Christians, not the majority population. And that's very telling. Um, they're very proud of that work. And it's, it's transforming communities. And the word of mouth, uh, we know uh, word of mouth advertising, but here the word spreads that these people, these Christians come and help us. And we've never been helped by the Muslims before. We've never been helped by the Hindus before. And they are helping us and we're not giving them anything. They're just helping us and, and uh, we want to know a little bit more about what they know. Thanks, Barry, and, and thanks, everybody, for listening to this uh, video log. Uh, we're really glad to be able to do this. Thanks to the team back home that's putting all this together while we're over here in Pakistan. Uh, blessings on you. We'll come to you in the next day or two with another update. Bye-bye for now. Goodbye.